Hello, this is Ilya from IPC2U and today we are going to visit our key partner iCOP, the manufacturer of IPC uh, motherboards and embedded PCs. So let's see how is it working from inside. Hi Joe. Hi Ilya. So thank you so much for your invitation. No problem. So let's check out your products. Yeah, let's go. Okay, Joe, so please tell us what about iCOP doing right now, which uh, market you're focusing and uh, tell us more about your products. Yeah, so first of all, iCOP is an embedded computer manufacturer mm -hmm. and we make some uh, SPC, mm -hmm. box PC and panel PC for our customer mm -hmm. um, by low power consumption, mm -hmm. long life cycle and some compact size computer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's what we are doing right now. So mm -hmm. I can see here a lot of interesting products, new one, and here I can see what grabs my attention. It's uh, ARM-based solutions, yes. like uh, panel PCs, mini yes. PCs, mm -hmm. and uh, motherboards. Could mm -hmm. you please tell us more about your ARM, like your roadmap, and what is your opinion, why you started doing yeah, this? Yeah, sure. So I will take this board for the example. Oh. Uh, because AI and co edge computing is more popular in, in the world, so we start to design a, a module based on the IMX 8M Mini mm -hmm. SoC, which has four A53 uh, cores, mm -hmm. 1.6 gigahertz cores. Mm -hmm. so on this module, uh, it could provide powerful performance and low power consumption, only two watts, wow. and long life cycle, 15 years. 15 years? Yes, so it's 15 okay. years. Wow. So we designed this module and designed a carrier board and put the carrier board into the box mm -hmm. and the panel PC. So it could like work as a box PC mm -hmm. or panel PC or, or just a standalone board. Mm -hmm. It's all uh, based on customer's demand. Customers, yeah. application. Yes, mm -hmm. and we also designed some uh, demo image on the Yakto Linux and also Android 9 mm -hmm. and provide it to our customer. And we have some demo image and drivers package to provide to customer too. I see. Yeah, so, and we believe this two OS is the popular, uh, will be very popular in the future in this application. I see. Yeah. So what's other like uh, competitive advantages mm -hmm. of ARM, mm -hmm. ARM-based solution compared to, for example, Intel? Yeah, so the ARM-based solution is like the price is very good, mm -hmm. the working temperature is very good, mm -hmm. and the life cycle is very good. Of course. Yeah, so that's why we are like focusing on the, the ARM solution. And it can be very small, very powerful, so it could be at the edge, you, the, the hardware can work very, very, very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's why we are designing this kind of products. Okay, Joe, mm -hmm. so you have a already introduced us your ARM-based solutions, mm -hmm. motherboard systems, but I know that iCOP is really dedicated on Vortex 86, so mm -hmm. could, you, could you please tell us more about your solutions based on this uh, architecture? Yeah, so in the past, iCOP technology provides Vortex 86 CPU from when we established. Of course. Yeah, so you can see here, uh, this is the old product, which is based on Vortex 86 mm -hmm. DX, and this is a very small module providing lots of I/O like mm -hmm. uh, ISA bus, USB, RS232, and lots of our customer like manufacture the their carrier board and combine the, this module together in their application. Mm -hmm. So the benefit of the Vortex 86 mm -hmm. is that uh, it provides legacy I.O. like 16-bit ISA bus mm -hmm. and like a wide temperature operation from minus 40 to 85 degrees. Mm -hmm. And also the long life cycle, over 10 years long life cycle. Mm -hmm. And so many of our customers find their uh, replacement uh, in their legacy application um, okay. by the Vortex 86. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. this year, we start to provide Vortex 86 EX2 products. Wow. We designed a smaller one module which with 168 pins, mm -hmm. configurable I.O. Mm -hmm. for our customer. And oh. we also designed carryable like tiny 3.5 inch and PC-104. Uh -huh. And it has it so two core in this SOC, so it can run two different I.O.S. Mm -hmm. different OS independently wow. and uh, the uh, I/O speed is very fast it's 0.2 microsecond and also the ECC memory is supported mm -hmm. so we think this is very very uh, popular this will be very very popular very and, interesting yeah product. and very po uh, powerful and very small mm -hmm. low cost a low co power consumption wide mm. temperature operation so and this also very life cycle yeah the life cycle will be very long too of course of yeah. course i can see here some intel solutions so i would like to know your opinion your vision on uh, intel roadmap mm -hmm. of your like products 
Sure. Oh. So from this year, iCloud start to release news about our new Intel-based solutions. Mm -hmm. And this year, we start to provide PC104 board based on uh, uh, Intel SOC. Mm -hmm. And also, there is the 16-bit uh, ISA on the board. So you can see on this board, as Intel SOC with the legacy I.O. 16-bit okay. ISA. And also RS-232, GPIO, and USB and SATA. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And from this, from this way, we could let our customer know that we are designing the Intel solution yes. with the legacy I.O. and from the PC-104 to the system and to the panel PC. Mm -hmm. So you can see here, we have uh, ARM system, we have Vortex 86 system, we mm -hmm. have uh, Intel system. In, compared to the past, we only have Vortex 86. Mm -hmm. So here, we can say that we have solutions from the legacy yeah. to the modern. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we would like to let our customer let to know that we are ready to fight. We are providing lots of cost, a lot of products to our customer, and they can find their their, their solutions from iCup. I know that besides all of your standard products, you also really focused on a customized products mm -hmm. for your customers in order to penetrate some vertical markets. So maybe you could tell us more about your experience about your existing products with uh, projects with your customers. Mm -hmm. To penetrate the vertical market, we always encourage our customer to uh, involve us in their design mm -hmm. via our customized service. Okay. And for example, uh, we have designed a special product for our customer who want to use in transportation application. Okay. So we designed a specific I.O. Uh, like isolated GPIO okay. and also we have passed the certificate that you need to use if you want to use in the transportation, transportation application. Yes. Yeah. So from this way, uh, customers share us the information and we can improve ourselves, could design the right product, we, we suit the customer's demand, mm -hmm. and we think this is a very important part for us. Of so the customized service is uh, a must to us to, to design any kinds of products.